main characteristics of sound that is loudness and pitch through graphical representation but before actually moving towards the graphical representation firstly we must know that what is actually the loudness okay so it is basically the measurement of the sound energy reaching the ear per second but by using simple definition it is very difficult to explain right it is very difficult to understand to so for making it much easier we are going to study it using the simple paper folding activity are you already for learning yes yeah. so yeah. now yes yeah. okay now see we have taken here the two waves the first one is wave number 1 and this is wave number 2 and now we are going to count how many waves are actually there in it so let's see how many waves are there 1 2 and 3 now let's see the number of waves in the second one 1 2 and 3 so but if both the waves first one and the second one have the same number of waves so what is the difference between these two can anybody tell me what is the difference yes okay we can say that this wave is of greater height that means greater amplitude whereas this wave has smaller amplitude right the number of waves are same but the height of the wave is different the wave where the height is smaller or we can say the amplitude is smaller it is called it is called soft sound it is called a faint sound. sound but the sound where the amplitude is more it is called loud sound now let's have a look to the graphical representation here we see that the number of waves are 3 here also the number of waves are 3 but what's the difference between these two waves the amplitude there the here the amplitude is smaller which is called a faint sound but where the amplitude is greater it is called loud sound is it okay now next we are moving towards the second characteristic of the sound that is pitch now what is pitch it is that characteristic of sound by which we can distinguish between the two sounds of same loudness that means there are two waves which are of same loudness means same amplitude but still there is a difference between these two waves and we are just finding out what is the difference now let's have a look to the first wave we are counting the number of waves in the first one see 1 2 3 